We have a situation here with the manga I Love the Villainous and content that was censored from the manga, cut from the manga. Now, the mangaka is already aware of the situation and has issued a statement, and on top of that, I do have some good news for the resolution. Let's get to it. Here's a thread on J Novel Club forums where the issue was first brought to the attention of the internet, as far as I understand. Especially this post where this person compares the original Japanese text to the English version, and you can see there's much less text, although of course there's flaws with that comparison. So the user then went on to do their best translating the text as well, although they disclaim that there's probably some errors in the translation, but you can still see the point that they're making here. He summarizes the change, saying this makes it absolutely clear that the person Ray is saying she can't go on without making fun of in the first excerpt is herself and her own life, though she never says that out loud. In the Seven Seas translation, Ray is just completely unrepentant in her harassment, and makes it sound like she's doing it to get her eyes out of Claire. And yet it's also a bit of an author tract, and the reference to entertainers who make homosexuality their gimmick, I have that highlighted for a reason, more on that in a moment, could plausibly be argued to not work for some Western readers, but I don't think that would be a good enough reason to remove it. Uh, let me show you what ANN says about that part. You might find it interesting. They say, The omitted content from the novel focuses on the inner dialogue of the story's protagonist, Ray. In the story, Ray begins reflecting on her actions pertaining to Claire, her female love interest. She compares her over-enthusiasm with overstepping boundaries and how gay entertainers are represented on Japanese TV. The reference is cultural, as there are specific comedic stereotypes that are intentionally played up by gay entertainers on Japanese TV programs. Members of Japan's LGBTQ plus community have been critical of these portrayals and how they perpetuate harmful things. Ray reflects on how she might also be perpetuating these ideas as a defense mechanism so she can be accepted and posits that gay entertainers on TV are making the same decision. So apparently, some Someone at Seven Seas agreed with that take by ANN on some level, thinking that, yes, this is harmful, and we can't have that here in the US, so we're going to remove the entire thing and not even ask the mangaka if she's okay with that. Seems like an authoritarian or authoritarians taking advantage of a woman. We have some interesting discourse here from the mangaka, along with a fan. The fan basically says that the censorship here is censoring being gay, basically. So you can see there are some LGBTQ plus people who are also unhappy with this. And I phrase it that way because this person goes on to say that they have been gay their whole life. Now, the mangaka says, I admire your strength. I think it is still too early to look for the culprit. So let's wait and see what happens. And they would also say, thank you for your sadness, but I don't want to think the translator or seven seas did this out of malice. For example, they had to summarize the content due to page count issues or for some other reason. Now, Hanlon's Razor does say never attribute to malice, which is is adequately explained by stupidity, but I don't see how stupidity can adequately and reasonably describe that, uh, that portion of the manga conveniently being removed. It might not be malice to the mangaka, but it could indeed be malice to that portion of the manga that they didn't like and found harmful. The mangaka, Nero, would go on to also say, I deleted one tweet because I think people misunderstood that I have negative feelings about this issue. I just hope more people will not be hurt anymore, including those involved. She then went on to do a Q&A with her fans, which I have to say is a pretty wholesome turn of events, including one person asking if she's going to become a VTuber. She says, I actually have an avatar channel and a streaming archive, but I'm not going to be a VTuber. The Q&A went on for at least a couple of hours. And she would conclude it by saying, I haven't fully answered your questions yet, but I think what you want most from me is to write a piece. So I'm sorry, but I'm going back to work. Thank you so much for talking to me. And do you remember how I mentioned that there was a good resolution? Well, here's the statement from Seven Seas. It seems that the issue made it back to them, and they say, Thank you for bringing this to our attention. Those portions of the text were removed during the editorial process at the time, but we have since changed how we edit these books to make sure important lines are not lost. We'll be revising the ebook within the next few weeks to add the cut portions back into the book. And the revision will also be reflected in all future printings, of the paperback. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this segment and thank you Ardu Bond for the news tip on this topic as well. Appreciate you all and I'll catch you next time.